want to simulate a high converting Facebook ad to prove to you that native advertising on social media is one of the best uses of your time? Well, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. What's going on, guys? Uriel came here, founder and CEO of Healthpreneur. Um, we help health practitioners fill and scale their practices by working smarter, not harder. And one of the ways we do that is obviously by leveraging Facebook ads because, <laughs> dang it, they are damn effective if you know what you're doing. And they are terribly ineffective and very expensive if you don't. So I want to show you exactly how to approach this from a creative standpoint. I'm not going to talk about campaign structure. All, honestly, that stuff is l the least important. I've, had, I've created other videos talking about different elements of, of Facebook advertising, but here I want to walk you through me showing you, like me actually writing an ad on my keyboard. I'm going to walk you through exactly, as you'll see on the screen here, like this page we're going to turn into an ad, okay? So the, the reason I can share this with you is because we have been running Facebook ads profitably for the past four and a half years. And I just need to add a caveat to that. That's four and a half years where every single week, not a single week has gone by for four and a half years where we have not had a positive ROI on our Facebook ad spend. We typically spend six figures a month in ads. We know what we're doing and we help all of our clients, thousands who are health professionals do the same. The reason Facebook advertising is so effective is because it doesn't matter who you're helping. You think your, your people are special and they're not on Facebook. I promise you they are. It doesn't matter if they're local, virtual, anywhere in the world. If you are helping people solve a health issue, you can find them on Facebook. And if you think you can't, it's just because you don't know how. And that's okay. That's why you're here. That's why you're watching this stuff. And I'm going to show you some of the goodness, okay? But the most important thing, and this is something I tell all of our clients, the most important thing is your messaging. In fact, just got off a client call with a number of our clients this morning. And one of them, Marcel, is an amazing, uh, amazing medical professional. And her ads were doing so well that she was getting people on the phone, so consults, for ridiculous. Uh, it was so inexpensive, I couldn't believe it. I was like, can I give you my credit card for you to run these ads and scale them? And the funny thing was that six of her best ad campaigns were paused. And I said, hold on, do you not like making money and helping people? That's the, only, that's the only reason I can think that these would be paused. So I see a lot of mistakes and thankfully, you know, our clients working with us, so we can help them, you know, adjust very quickly. But the most common thing that I tell my clients is that your Facebook ad performance will almost always come down to the power of your messaging. Audience selection is certainly important. The offer is certainly important. Campaign structure is definitely important. But the most important lever of those three, of four really, is your message. And that's what I wanna walk you through here. Now the biggest mistake, or one of the biggest mistakes when it comes to message, is that most people don't even understand who they're speaking to. And with our clients, we walk them through an initial thing, initial process called the emotion inventory. And the emotion inventory is where all of your messaging has to start. And essentially it looks like this. Okay, so what are the current frustrations that your audience is dealing with. If you don't know this, you can't write effective ad copy. Simple, okay? So what do you do? You spend more time with your clients or your prospects. You get to understand them. You get to know them better. That's It's, it's not rocket science, okay? If you're a health professional, you have an unfair advantage because you spend most of your time with your patients and clients. So you kind of know what their frustrations are. No surveys, no online nonsense, just real face-to-face -face conversations. So frustrations are things that they're currently experiencing right now that they want to get rid of. And that leads us to the second thing, which are wants. What are the things that these individuals want? And the want is really the opposite of the frustration. And I'll show you examples of this in just a second. Now, if wants continue over time, these turn into desires or aspirations. The way I think of this is this is really the person, the type of person or self-identity really the type of values that they aspire to, the type of person they want to become. And if frustrations don't get met, these turn into fears. Fears are the things that we worry about. These are the things that keep us up at night. They are not immediately like symptomatic. It's more up here in our head 
as all fear is. So the number, the, the first step you have to take with all of your advertising, and this is why you can never outsource this stuff to an agency. Like it's ridiculous. Like you have to take ownership of this. And if you're not willing to, don't even bother. Go work for someone else. I'm serious, okay? You cannot, out, you cannot outsource your marketing. You cannot outsource your messaging. No one knows your business as much as you do. No one cares about your clients as much as you do. Do not outsource this. I'm serious, okay? You will go bankrupt, especially if you're, if you're gonna pay for advertising. So you have to understand, you have to identify, take, honestly, take half an hour of your day. What do my patients or clients, what are they currently frustrated with? Now, here's the other thing. This is, again, one of the biggest mistakes I've talked about a million times already in these videos is you have to select the single target market because if you're helping people with everything, I help them with weight loss, cancer, skin issues, gut issues, diarrhea, constipation, vomiting. How are you supposed to narrow down their frustrations? Because one person's frustrations are going to mean nothing to someone else. So you have to identify a single target market. Otherwise, none of this stuff works. So please watch my other videos if you haven't already and get your head screwed on properly when it comes to marketing. You cannot build a successful business by word of mouth. You can, right? You can, but it's not up to you. It's just randomly people coming into your business. That's not marketing. That's not a business plan. That's just, I don't even know what that is. It's nice, it's the cherry on top, but you cannot, it's like trying to bake a cake without a recipe. It's like, oh yeah, I just kind of throw some stuff together and uh, a cake just happens on my oven. You, you can't do that when it comes to your business, okay? You spend a lot of time and money and effort and energy and resources to build your business. So that take this seriously. It drives me crazy, as you can tell. Anyways, um, so this is where it all starts. Okay, so now once we have that, second thing we're gonna do now is we've identified, you know, what these are, a couple frustrations, you know, a couple wants, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, let's say you have, you know, a number of frustrations. What I would suggest is that you look at, let's take one of these and build an ad around it, okay? So here's, let's, let's play with this. Okay, so we help health professionals, okay? Now I'm gonna use the example of, uh, the the problem with the, the health industry is the, the whole paradigm we've been bought into or sold into, which is slavery. Um, yeah, slavery. You said it. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, that's right. Trading time for money for the rest of your life. Sounds good, right? No, not at all. Believe me, uh, I was there for a long time. Okay, so here's here's how I would do this. Now, the first thing to understand is that when you're running ads on Facebook, Facebook will shut you down if you don't know about their policies. So you have to go and just understand the Facebook ad policies. It's really simple. There's a number of different things, words you can't use, context that has to be taken you know, into consideration. But one of the basic things is you cannot assume someone has a problem. So for instance, writing something like this, uh, still struggling to lose weight. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see this a bit more easily. Okay, still struggling to lose weight? This equals Facebook ad account shutdown. Dot, 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 dot. You cannot say stuff like this because what is this assuming? This is assuming the person is struggling with their weight and they're still struggling with their weight. You're gone, okay? Don't, like, Facebook ads work, but if you don't know what you're doing, they don't work, okay? So let's, let's understand this. I'm not gonna get into the nuances of like what you can say, what you cannot say here. What I will suggest, the safest way to do this is to tell a story, okay? So let's use the example of, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna, as a, um, just as a, uh, a bit of a framework here, okay? So I'm not including this in the ad. This is just for me to, as a little bit, bit of a guidepost. Okay, so I know that the people that we're looking to get in front of, and by the way, I'm gonna show you what this ad finished looks like and how effective it is, so don't go anywhere. Um, and by the way, if you like this, remember to subscribe to the channel. Lots of more great stuff coming your way. Not fluff, but deep stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna share a story. I used to work 12 to 14 hours per day just to keep my health business afloat. 
Okay, so what have I done there? First sentence, what I've done is I've just told them, I've, I've relayed the frustration they're experiencing through my own story, okay? Social media is not about selling stuff. It's about sharing common experiences. It's a social platform for a reason. Story will always work. It doesn't look like it will because it's long and you'd think, well, people don't have time for this, right? Most people don't, but the right people do. If they're experiencing enough pain and frustration, the right people will pay attention. So I used to work for 12, 14 hours per day just to keep my health business afloat. I'd get up at the crack of dawn and get home after sunset. Day after a day, month after a month, year after year. See what I'm doing here? I'm just, I'm just digging this story even deeper. So the person who is experiencing this trading time for money, I can't get off the hamster tre the, the treadmill, is like, yeah, that, that's that's what I'm going through. You see, what I'm not doing is I'm saying, hey, are you tired of burning out in practice because you're busy all the time? I'm not saying that because number one, sorry, I'm gonna chase my fly here. Number one, when you preach, there's resistance. And this is something I've learned the hard way because I have a lot of preach. I have a lot of stuff that I'm very opinionated about and it works sometimes, but it's also very effective to partner with your prospects as opposed to preaching to them. So here, what I'm doing is I'm partnering with them and I'm saying, hey, let's sit beside each other and I'm gonna take you on this journey, which is my story. And I think knowing what I know of my audience, you might relate to this. Not everyone does, but the right people that I wanna attract are experiencing it. Okay, so what we're essentially doing here is we're using a framework in the world of copywriting uh, called problem, agitation, and solution, okay? So what I've done here is I've identified the problem right up top, not, not asking them if you have this problem, but telling them my story through which they see themselves. Agitation now is I'm digging the knife. This is the biggest missing piece in all Facebook ads, okay? Um, for instance, uh, if you're tired of working 12 to 14 hours per day, click the link below to watch a free training on how to solve it. That is absolutely zero connection. And so what we're doing a story here is we're introducing a problem in the form of the story. We're then going deep into it. So agitating it, they can see themselves in your journey. Now they can relate to you. They feel like, man, this guy understands me. Okay, so um, I would get up at the crack of dawn and get home after sunset, day after day, month after month, year after year. This is before I even had kids, but I knew when I did, I certainly wanted to see them grow up. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm appealing to people who might be parents. I'm not in the, I'm not in the game of like, you know, this is before I had my private jet and my Lamborghini. I'm not, I'm not playing to that crowd. Okay, so you have to understand your audience. All right, so what I've done here is I've just kind of Again, highlight of the agitation. I'm going a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper. Worst part. Um, so this is before I even had kids, but I knew when I did, I certainly wanted to see them grow up. And that meant, and sorry, if the gr grammatically and sentence structure here is not perfect, whatever. Just, just go with it, okay? And that meant I would need to eventually figure out a better way. Trouble was, I was barely scraping by. I had to work just to make ends meet. Now here's, watch, watch, watch what happens here. Okay, now just understand the context of this ad. Right now, I could be appealing to people who have no money. That's not something I want. I don't wanna help people who have no, uh, who are on uh, food stamps and have no money to invest in themselves. That's not my audience. So I, want to, I want to appeal to people who have, they're not in a place of desperation, they're in a place of aspiration. So I gotta be careful here, okay? So trouble was I was barely scraping by. I had to work just to make ends meet, okay? So there you could think, well, that's what I'm going through. I have no money at all. This is for me, okay? But watch what I do here. Sure, things on the outside looked great. I had the car, the successful business, I'll just put this in quotes. And 
and a beautiful home. So what have I done here? Just in this one sentence, I have disqualified anyone who doesn't have those things, right? But I was living month to month. So again, like the words matter. The structure of your message is everything. Okay, so now when we introduce the solution, so I've done like, I mean, you can dig the, you can dig the knife as deep as you want, but the key is specificity, okay? Using specificity, and I probably could have gone into more granular specific detail here so someone can really visually see themselves in the story. But for the sake of this video and time, I'm not going to. But I was living, can you imagine writing ads like this without any like, with missing words? And sometimes I have. Anyways, um, so, but I was living month to month until something happened. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like insert discovery, okay? And that's essentially what we're doing here, is something happened, something you discovered, and like, it could be something like this, okay? So I woke up, I hope up, <laughs> I woke up one morning, I looked in the mirror, and said, that's enough. Today was the day I was going to do something about it. I apologize for all the backwards deleting. That's how I type. Most of my typing is backwards because of spelling mistakes. I don't know if I'm dyslexic, but <laughs> who cares? It's all good. All right, so today is the day I was gonna do something about it. All right, so here I get into the discovery piece, right? Transitioning to, okay, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure this out. And I'll just say something like, I crawled under every rock. Um, I'm just going a little bit off tangent here. Uh, every rock and learns whatever I could to better my situation. Lo and behold, after tons of trial and error, I uncovered one. So this is a big piece now, right? This discovery element is where we introduce curiosity. I uncovered one missing piece that unlocked my business's potential and allowed me to reduce my working hours in half. And now, so here's what I'm doing. I'm not telling them what it is because what you're gonna do is you're gonna watch a training or a webinar in which I reveal everything. If I tell them exactly what it is here, I've now scratched all the itches. So I'm just telling them, hey, there's this thing I discovered. Oh, and I'll tell you about it in this training. But first, as a result, I built two multiple seven-figure businesses. By the way, you can't say seven-figure, but whatever. Um, we'll just, for the sake of this uh, example, that have helped more than 500 million thousand, this is actually true, two, two very successful businesses that have helped more than 500,000 people. Um, I became a New York Times best selling author and now spend four to five months of the year traveling with my family. So this is all true, okay? I'm not making this up. This is my story. So here's the thing though, is you can't start an ad saying like, hey, I'm so cool, I make all this money and I help all these people and by the way, I'm gonna tell you what I know. Everyone's like, dude, you're a douche. I'm gonna shoot you down. You have to meet people where they're at. So you start with the struggle, you start with your story, where things were before, you lead people through a, a journey that they're like, man, like that's exactly what I'm going through. Oh, you discovered something. Now you have all this cool stuff. And I'd love to share what I discovered with you this week in a free training right here. Okay. Now for the sake of time, I'm just going to shut it down there. Okay. See you inside. Now, obviously, this is a very, very rushed, abbreviated end of the ad, which I would not just finish with because I would say inside, well, here we go again, right? I'm just I'm gonna keep on going. Inside, you'll discover 
one, two, three, a couple things. And this is for you if, again, here we go, backwards typing. This is for you if criteria one, criteria two, criteria three, etc. okay? If that sounds familiar, if that sounds like you, then click here. Insert, look at this, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I, can't, I, can't, I can't stop typing. Click here <laughs> and I'll see you inside. Okay, there we go. Um, P.S. This is only four. And I would reiterate uh, criteria once again. And this is important because, you know, if you want better quality people on the phone with you or working with you, you have to put out a better invitation. If you don't want the wrong people coming to the party, don't invite them to the party. This is the invitation to the party. If you don't want people who don't have money, tell it straight up. Hey, this is only for people who have an established business. If you're living off food stamps, probably not for you. Now, listen, you could say that. I probably wouldn't. There's a better way of doing things, but hopefully you get my, my, my idea here. Okay, so is this helpful? If it is, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Remember to share it with someone unless you want to keep this to yourself as a sneaky, sneaky tool that no one else knows about except for thousands of people that we've helped. Anyways, um, so this is how you write a high converting ad. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, you're, well, how do I know if this is high converting? What if you're just making this stuff up out of thin air? Well, I want to show you just one of the hundreds of ads that we have run. Um, this one here, and you will see something sort of pretty similar, right? Uh, get off. Okay, so I used to work 12, 14 hours a day in my health business just to make ends meet. I felt like a hamster on a wheel, I wanted to earn more, I need to work more. That's right. If I wanted to earn more, I need to work more. It wasn't sustainable because I had built myself a prison. If I took a few days off, my business would literally fall apart. Take a vacation? Yeah, right. I loved helping my clients and patients, but boy, was I ever exhausting. And I was burnt out. The truth is, I didn't have a business, I had a job. I had no leverage, no systems, everything relied on me. It took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that if I ever wanted my life and business to be different, to be better, I had to start doing things differently. Okay, so this is pretty much the exact same ad. I'm just, you know, changing it up here a little bit for, you know, because I can't remember every single word. So this is the ad. Um, it's pretty much, very much the same, same story, obviously different words here and there. And then an image. The image is powerful, okay? This is an image of me and my son, Oscar, sitting over the Pacific Ocean. There's a lot of things that this conjures up, okay? But look at this, 996 positive reactions, 88 comments, 98 shares. Now, I'm not gonna show you the back end of our um, our metrics and stuff because it's obviously it's confidential, um, but just understand you don't run an ad uh, for a very, very long time and get this much social proof if it's not working. So as I said before, we spend a lot of money every week on our ads, uh, a lot of money, and so we test a lot of stuff. But listen, not all of our ads work, right? And that's the reality is like, if you run stuff, you have to test and see what works. So this is an example of what we call the better way ad. It's the better way. I used to do this thing. Here's a better way. If you want to know about it, check it out, right? Um, watch this free training. Click here. They go to a page that looks like this. Hey, free training. Cool. Awesome. And there we go. So that is how you think about running or how you build a high converting Facebook ad. Now, I want to recap a few things here. We talked about the emotion inventory, right? Everything starts here. We talk about identifying one focus for the ad, not everything, one. And in this case, what I did was I took trading time for money, right? And the ensuing problems that that creates. I built the ad around that. I created a story which is true. I didn't make it up out of thin air. And there we go. Now, do we know if it's gonna work or not? No, we never do, but we have a theory about, I think this could work better because it really taps into the conversation happening in my prospect's minds. Let's run it with a good quality image and see what happens. And that's the nature of Facebook advertising. And listen, if you want our help, if you like this, and you'd like to use Facebook ads to attract more clients into your business, then hopefully by now, you have a better sense of the fact that we kind of know what we're doing. And we'd love to help you out if you so choose. And obviously, if you're a good fit to work with us. So if you're a health professional, if you own your own practice or your own business and you've, you're amazing at helping people, but you just need better, smarter marketing, um, then we can most likely help you get better traction. The way we do that is through a free consult. We call a practice growth session. There's a link for it somewhere around this video. Uh, click on that. 
go over and book your call right now. It's uh, not a sales pitch. We're here to help you, right? We're here to help you get clarity on where you, where you wanna go, right? Where you are right now, what are the roadblocks standing in your way? And if you'd like our help to look at, okay, well, you know, once we create a bit of a game plan on the call, if you want our help to install that in your business, we can certainly talk about what that looks like. Um, but again, there's no pressure and none of that nonsense. But again, we're only really interested in speaking with people who take their business seriously. This is not a, a free pick my brain type of conversation. Uh, this is for serious business owners who see the value in getting smarter in their business and in their marketing. And if that's you, I'm sure we can really help you out in a big way. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Remember to go ahead, click the link below, book your call now. And that, my friend, is how you create a high converting Facebook ad. And yes, native advertising, which means advertising within the social platforms, is incredibly effective. It's helped us build our business and it's helped thousands of our clients build theirs. I'm sure I can help yours as well. See you soon.